Welcome to my channel, The Bold and the Beautiful Bank. The writing is on the wall for Bold and Beautiful's Thomas. First Taylor is sent to Storyline Siberia Rome, next Thomas. The future ain't looking too bright for the bold and beautiful designer. In all of two minutes, RG went from Instagramming thirst traps and photos of his lunch to being declared the anointed one by Grandpa Eric. Even Dad Ridge has decided that his and Brooke's son is more talented than his and Taylor's son. This, without RG ever having sketched a dress on his own, never mind launched a fashion line. Obsession, madness, horror. Bold and beautiful's Taylor could return to an even bigger nightmare than Sheila. How can you help this Thanksgiving? Bring them home. Reading between the lines. On the surface, the twist is silly but sweet. Eric is happy enough to have RJ's support that he's willing to forget that it isn't his DNA flowing through his grandson's veins, but that of Ridge's biodad, the long-forgotten, by the writers, Massimo Marone. Below the surface, however, RJ's meteoric rise is concerning. Why? Because it plays right into the soap's history of shortchanging Taylor and Thomas. How Steffi managed to avoid this particular curse, we'll never understand. No matter what Ridge has said or done, Taylor has always lost him to his Logan. No matter how obnoxious and hypocritical Liam has become, Hope will always love him. And no matter how successful Thomas makes Hope for the future, he will always be considered a last resort. Thomas can't even be allowed to have a real relationship. Since Matthew Atkinson took over the role, the character has pursued Hope with a determination that has crossed the borderline into creepy territory. He's gotten engaged to Zoe only in hopes of forcing the object of his obsession to become his bride. And even now that Hope wants to be with him, it's strictly sexually. What's next? To be fair, Thomas has not done himself any favors over the years. His perving on Hope way back when wasn't exactly the stuff of a romantic lead, and his schemes left him for the longest time planted in black hat territory. But he's finally turned a corner and become a decent guy, just in time for him to be thrown under the bus for RJ. It isn't that we don't like RJ, by the way. Joshua Hoffman is adorable and makes the legacy character eminently likable. It's just that, geez, could Taylor's side of the family, like, ever get a break? Besides Steffi, we mean, could Taylor's side of the family ever even get a shot? It's bad enough that Ridge treats Taylor like meh when she's amazing, but for him to now disregard Thomas as, basically, adequate and hail RJ as a revelation is infuriating and dispiriting. And between that and Hope's decision to stick Thomas in the friend with benefits zone, well, let's just say that we'd be disappointed but not surprised if he was bound for Forrester International. Review Thomas and Hope's twisted love story in the below photo album. Come back to our channel for all your updates. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.